Bienvenidos en Mallorca. Mallorca is the largest of the Islas Baleares in the Mediterranean Sea, but it's small enough that you get a great view of the beach from all over, even when there's snow on the mountaintops in the middle of the island. Usually, I only go to the beach when it's hot, but here in Mallorca, I kicked off by picking seashells and drawing silly things in the sand and the shivering cold. Once we convinced Daddy that there's more to Mallorca than chasing down tennis star Rafa Nadal for his autograph, we headed out for a tour. Just a few minutes later, we arrived at the towering Catedral de la Sud. Here's our great guide Alberto, whom I interrupted from time. However, where's the Roman city? You won't see it. It's underground. There's nothing. Nothing left. Where? There's something left, but it's underground. So. Why don't they dig it up? Pardon? Why don't they dig it up? Uh, because in order to do that, you should destroy all of what you see over there. You would dig down here and then you could dig a tunnel under there. Huh? If you, that's a good idea, uh, but in the case of this city, everything would collapse. Yeah. Well, then this isn't a very stable city. It's not. It's not mainly because all this area from here to the sea is man-made. Too bad. Man-made. From more or less the sea, not the sea wall, from where the cathedral and the Almudain are onwards, it's natural ground. But from here to the marina, the dog yards, the docking platforms, then everything is man-made. Then they could dig over there and come up on the uh, we have the same problem again, they were destroyed. And before, the city walls were knocked down. I mean, you see these walls? These part of the walls and then the western side of the walls are the only enclosures left. Yorka Everything else layers, was knocked down. Layers, before it layers, happened in the late 19th century. It started out as a Phoenician city, and then a Greek city, a Roman city. Uh, then it and became, then it became uh, a Spanish city. Spanish city. Spanish city. Christian city. And now it's a Spanish city. Very good. Spanish city, multicultural city. <laughs> because we have all of the nations in the world. You can imagine you can find them here. Now, well, let's go so find them, right, Tara? Mm -hmm. Now we'll stop. You have a head. I see you have a head. Hello. Now, in the past, many important people thought that was a church. For instance, in the 16th century, there was a very important man that paid a visit to and Mallorca. I know it's not a church. You know it? So you're smarter than the average of people that had paid a you visit to Mallorca. You can't a church because there isn't a single cross on That's very smart. Uh, forget about the Johnny Depp the movies, okay? It was not so nice. I mean, in Pirates of the Caribbean, everybody has fun and sort of spies are gentle and you barely go back home with a scratch and you're back home for dinner. It didn't happen here. Close to 90% of people that tried piracy in Mallorca ended up how? Dead. Dead. <laughs> exactly. Well, you know, they never met these pirates. Th these pirates. These exactly. are some serious pirates right here. Why 90%? 90% of people trying piracy ended up dead. For a reason, because Mallorcan pirates were not the ones to fear. Turkish and Berber pirates were the ones to fear. In fact, the Islas Baleares actually get their name from the slings that pirates used to attack each other and the people of Mallorca. The architects of the old city love to decorate buildings with gargoyles and other monsters. We went hunting for them all over town. Well, these three pieces of iron back here are uh, apparently an average monument or a simple monument, but they are not. They are dedicated to a very important figure of this city's history, of Palmas history, a man, North Korean citizen called Eak Taeyan. And this guy turned out to be the founder of Palma Symphonic Orchestra back in the late 40s. So if not for him, this city wouldn't have a symphonic orchestra. In Alcadia, there is a medieval fortress. Cleverly, they shot through the narrow slits that cannonballs coming from outside couldn't fit through. If someone asks you if you want to climb a medieval
medieval fortress wall? The answer is yes! <laughs> Mallorca has a rugged coastline all around which you can enjoy even if it's too cold to swim. Swimming is fun, but turning into an ice popsicle is definitely not. Next, we raced up the 365 Calvary steps. At the top was a lovely church, but just as importantly, there's yummy hot chocolate waiting for you when you jog back down. Yum! I cannot get my head around which is which. Stalactites or stalagmites. But there are more than enough of both in the Cuevas del Drach. And I've forgotten yet again. That is Rafael Nadal's boat. Like I said, Daddy was obsessed that with finding everything related to Rafael Nadal. And here's his famous tennis academy. Soy una caballera. Guapita. Guapita. Hola, guapita. Not only did we get to have a lovely horseback ride through the forest, but as a bonus, there was Elvis and some exotic animals. Beautiful sunset. So long, Mallorca.